What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today we are going to be reviewing the new fourth prestige legendary skin to be released in COD Mobile, which is surprisingly the AGR 556 Durandal Prestige. So when it comes to prestige legendary skins, they're usually very unexpected. You never know what, what is really going to be the next one. But typically what these prestige weapons are, are more improved versions of original legendary skins. For example, with the AK-47, they had the Koromaku within probably like year one or year two. But then they improved upon it with the Koromaku prestige, giving it more of a... I guess more of a rose gold finish with different colors and everything, making it look a lot more elegant. So basically they're just, they're just more elegant versions of legendaries that already exist in this game. So just to recap on the previous prestige weapons that have been released so far, um, of course, obviously we've had the Durando prestige, the AK-47 Koromaku prestige, um, but we also had the MX-9 Heartless prestige as well as the Man of War Death Scythe prestige. So not only that they are a lot more elegant looking than their original legendary counterparts, they also have different shooting sounds, uh, different uh, colors, different different types of effects sometimes, and a completely unique uh, weapon inspect. However, I would like to say that the weapon inspect, uh, or at least the new unique ones that the legendary prestige have are only pertaining to the MX-9 Heartless Prestige as well as the Durandal Prestige. The previous ones that were given before this inspect was made, uh, there's, they still yet to have it. Maybe at some point later on down the, down the line, they might have those uh, weapon inspects for the previous prestige legendaries, but only time will tell. So what's new with this one compared to the original? So obviously it has a more of a purple and platinum type of finish. The platinum kind of com kind of comes with the weapon itself. You can put platinum on the blueprint, but I don't really think it's going to make too much of a difference. Uh, maybe make it a little shinier. I'm not really that sure because the platinum that's on this uh, gun isn't really that noticeable in certain maps, specifically the one that you're seeing right now. But I guess that's like the magic of this game where in some maps, diamond camo will look better than in other ones. You know, if you go to Oasis, I mean, diamond looks like the best over there. But in this map, it just doesn't really shine that well. So besides its physical features, obviously it's the same as the original. The only difference is the lights that are coming out as well as the fire on the barrel of the gun is orange instead of blue. Well, it's not really orange. I think it's more like gold related because whenever there is a prestige weapon, they make it again like it has like that elegance to it so it's going to be more of like a like a riches type of thing so as for the death effect as well um you know when you do when they get like pounded into all like this blood puddle they basically turn into like you know a gold puddle instead so it like all the colors are more or less the same it's just going to be gold the iron sight is also something that did kind of get like a noticeable change uh specifically that it's a lot more viewable compared to the durandal which like the iron sight there it's usually like blue and it kind of goes with the gun but sometimes it's a little bit hard but i, I feel like with the red one it's i don't know for some reason i know they're the exact same but it feels easier to aim with this one but i think that might as well just be a placebo effect i'm not really that sure if it's actually like something that feels like that truly is different it's probably just something that i prefer more so now getting to the final thing which is the sound effects that's something i want to discuss because this one is far more different than the original durando so the shooting sound as unique as it is for the the regular durando it is also very very unique for the the durando prestige it sounds like it kind of like just sounds like a lot of just coins it like kind of like how it was with the mx9 or even with the ak-47 koromaku prestige however one improvement in terms of sounds that is actually better than the original durando is the fact that the reloading sound is a lot more noticeable it's very very pronounced in this version of the durando compared to the other one yeah the sound is a little bit different but it's very faint to the point where you can't actually notice it while like you're actually playing in game so it's very obvious at the end of the day that the AGR Durando Prestige is a far greater improvement compared to the original, despite the fact that the iron sight and all that other stuff more or less looks the same, it's just in a different color, but the sounds is kind of what sets them apart other than just the color. 
However, I don't really think I have to get into how you actually unlock it because I've kind of gone over this a few times, but for those of you that may not know or are just new to this game, you basically have to get three legendary skins in order to actually get this one. And it doesn't matter which ones, you could get it from the For You or you could get the ones that are just recently being released. It doesn't really matter so long as you have three, but if you guys do intend to go the extra mile, you can get a fourth one to get a different chat box. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time.